Hey Super Swing Traders, I hope you're doing good. Today we're going to take a look at some charts and see where we can identify supply and demand order flow and trade it for income. Let's take a look at stocks today. Ticker symbol STNG Scorpio Tankers Incorporated. I don't know anything about this stock besides it pays dividends. As you can see the D's on the on the charts here d for dividend but i don't i'm not gonna hold it long enough to get a dividend it just shows it just happens to be a dividend stock um it's an uptrend and i'm just looking to buy the demand zones okay so let's get started and i don't even look at any fundamentals no f finance no conference calls nothing like that all right now for this this stock for stocks in general i'm trading the three month monthly weekly just because the candles don't really do much as you can see a whole week and it just doesn't do much but in this particular case i'm trading the monthly weekly daily because the three months it's not really doing much either but the monthly is doing something and i'm seeing setups on the monthly so I am going to do a shorter term trade. It's still pretty long. It's still a swing trade, but it is shorter than the holding it for a few days. It is shorter than holding it for a few weeks. Okay. So the daily is going to be my entry and not the weekly. All right. So take a look at the monthly first. Monthly, as you can see, demand created down here, rally base, rally drop, and then and then rally it again and form another demand zone with um, EMA, this blue line, blue EMA line acting as support. So if it comes back down here, touches this zone and also touches this EMA, it could touch this EMA and rally before it even touches the zone. So that's just some, some of the nuances that we got to deal with in supply and demand trading. Okay. But nevertheless, our highest time frame is telling us to buy because we're in an uptrend. Okay. Weekly, we have an uptrend. Weekly is an uptrend. As you can see, price. This must have been the demand that we saw on the monthly. And then this, this area demand is... Yeah, this area of demand. So this is the monthly's area of demand, and, and then there's also another area of demand right here, with the blue EMA acting as support for this demand zone. Okay, so it touched this demand zone, but as you can see, this zone is very wide. So we wanna, and this is now our entry time frame. Our entry time frame is actually the daily. So the daily is in a is in a downtrend. Supply created right here. This was in an area of demand. Well, this whole thing, but this this one is, but this whole thing is, so it's in a downtrend. And this zone is the zone that we're looking to go long at. Now, just remember, guys, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not telling you where to buy and sell. I'm just telling you where I'm going to buy and sell. And um, you can make your own analysis, okay? So this is just for educational purposes only. I'm not a professional trader by any means. I hold a full-time job that I like. And I'm not trading for a living by any means. Am I profitable? Yes, I am. But I am not telling you where to buy and sell. You have to make that decision and do your own analysis. But I'm just showing you my own analysis and where I'm buying and selling. You do not have to copy me. You don't have to copy me. You have to make your own analysis, okay? So the demand zone on the daily is down here, which is nested inside of this weekly demand zone so gives us higher odds to go for price to bounce right here okay so i'm buying at the 27.70 selling stop loss at 26.56 so if price wants to get get down here i am looking to go long 
okay because this is the zone that I identified that it may bounce that, can it not work of course it cannot work we'll see what the market does maybe the market can go down here it already touched the weekly demand zone so it doesn't necessarily end forming these bottoming tails so it doesn't necessarily have to drop down here it could just be it could just be like any of the other stocks in the US stock market where it just bounces off of of the after week of the higher time frame demand zones like it has been doing because this is where all the big boys are buying they're buying at the higher time frame all your one minute 15 minute one hour charts they're building positions there but they're not exactly looking at those levels okay so there's a pop probability that the demand zone on the daily chart this zone that I'm, I'm highlighting right here may not be reached and price could rally it could just <laughs> gap down even more so that's why we have to implement risk management okay so for this trade I'm only losing I'm only risking a dollar per ch per share and I'm risking 1% of my account okay so if my account is $10,000 I'm losing 100 I'm risking $100 to make um, let's see 27 to 32 so risking you know uh, 1 to 6 okay but if the price bounces from here I can move my stop loss up trailing stop loss or I can just let it reach target if it does bounce okay so we'll see what happens um, like I said price may or may not reach it because weekly demand zone is in control so we'll see what happens all right and that is the analysis on this US stock STNG Scorpio tankers I hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please Give it a like and subscribe for our new videos. And if this is your first time, this is Super Swing Trader showing you my swing trades and analysis on Forex and stocks, equities, okay? All right, thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below. If you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button below and click that little bell icon that way You'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching.